Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on what are the main differences between catch memory and virtual memory. So this is one of the most important concept in computer organization or a computer organization and architecture. Okay, so here catch memory is one memory and virtual memory is also another memory that we are used in the memory hierarchy. Okay, so catch memory is located in between the CPU and main memory. Okay, this is CPU and this is main memory. In between the CPU and main memory, catch memory is located. Okay. Suppose CPU wants to execute some programs, okay, these programs can be retrieved from the main memory, okay. So, that programs can be passed from main memory to the CPU while traveling from main memory to the CPU, one copy of the programs are stored in the catch memory. Okay, so whenever same programs can be occurred again in the near future, okay, CPU can take that programs in the catch memory, okay, otherwise they are taken from the main memory, okay. So now we can say that catch memory contains the recently accessed data or programs, recently accessed data or programs are stored in the catch memory. Okay, so this is a, a description about where the catch memory is located and what is the purpose of catch memory. So these are the points that we are discussed by using this figure. Okay, now what are the main differences between catch memory and virtual memory? Okay, the first point, catch memory is located in between the CPU and main memory. Okay, so catch memory mainly store the recently accessed data or a frequently used data. Okay, mainly catch memory contains the frequently accessed data or a frequently used data. Okay, whereas in the case of virtual memory, in virtual memory, programs that have a larger size greater than the main memory capacity, that programs are to be executed by using virtual memory. Okay, so here, Suppose a program size is 4 GB, a program size is 4 GB. So this is program size. Okay, so here RAM size, RAM capacity is only 3 GB. Okay, so here programs which have a larger size greater than the main memory so that programs are allowed to be executed by using virtual memory. Okay, so here program size is 4 GB, but main memory capacity or RAM capacity is only 3 GB. Okay, so here program size is greater than the main memory capacity, so that programs are allowed to be executed by using the concept called virtual memory. Whereas in the case of catch memory, catch memory can store the frequently accessed data or a recently used data. Okay, next, second point. Catch memory increases the accessing speed of CPU. Okay, so by using catch memory, we have to increase the accessing speed of catch. Okay, mainly catch memory is used for fast accessing. Okay, 
so because of that catch memory so it increases the accessing speed of cpu okay whereas in the case of virtual memory virtual memory increases the capacity of the main memory okay here main memory capacity is 3 gb but program that has to be executed that that has a size 4 gb so these programs are allowed to be executed by using a concept called virtual memory so hence we can say that virtual memory increases the capacity of the main memory okay next third one here catch memory is a memory or storage unit okay catch memory is a memory unit okay so hence we can say that catch memory is a memory or a storage unit it is not a technique okay catch memory is not a technique because so catch memory is a storage unit or a memory unit so whereas virtual memory is not a storage or storage or memory unit it is only a technique okay when we can say that this technique is applied suppose we want to execute a particular program that program size is 4 gb but ram capacity that is main memory capacity is 2 gb so it is not possible to execute that program in the main memory so because of that reason we have to increase the capacity of the main memory by using a concept called virtual memory okay by using that concept that pro that programs are allowed to be executed okay so then we can say that virtual memory is a technique not a storage or memory unit okay next one the size of catch memory is less than the virtual memory okay here catch memory size is very less size whereas virtual memory size is very large okay so because of that reason the size of the cat is always less than the size of the virtual memory whereas the size of virtual memory is always larger than the size of catch memory okay so when we are comparing catch memory and virtual memory the capacity of catch memory is very less whereas the capacity of the virtual memory is very large so hence we can say that the size of catch memory is always less than the capacity of the virtual memory whereas in the case of virtual memory the size of virtual memory is always larger than the so size of catch memory okay so here the computer hardware manages the catch memory computer hardware manages the catch memory whereas uh, operating system manages the virtual memory okay to manage the uh, to manage the virtual memory we have to use operating system here to manage the catch memory we have to use computer hardware okay so these are the main differences between catch memory and virtual memory okay so this is hard disk is nothing but secondary memory ram is nothing but main memory so in the entire cpu catch memory is also there so catch memory is located between cpu and main memory okay whenever cpu wants to execute a particular programs okay first that programs are there in the catch we have to check if it is not there then that programs can be accessed from the main memory so at that time one copy of that programs is stored in the catch and that can be passed to the cpu whenever the same programs are executed in near future the cpu can take that programs only from 
catch memory instead of taking from the main memory. So because of the treason, execution time is also reduces uh, and also data transfer time is also reduces. So mainly we can say that so catch memory is very fast whereas virtual memory is slow. Okay, catch memory accessing is very fast and um, virtual memory uh, speed is less. Okay, so this is the differences between catch memory and virtual memory. So thank you, thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel name. So Divvela Srinivasara. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please give your comments in the comment box. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video.